Hey everyone, welcome to Cat Bunny Games. Sporksan and I are here and we are planning on building the Lego Pirates Treasure Island set tonight. I believe it has 181 pieces and it's something that we're looking forward to a lot, but especially Sporksan since Pirates was a huge part of his childhood. And I've got some of the original pirate models from the mid-90s so we can kind of see what Lego has changed and what has stayed the same. Sounds good. Let's get going. So again, as with every model I build, it's always the little details that get me. Um, I think I think the first thing that I noticed was just how the chain like comes through the the skull and attaches and just looks like it's a whole it, it's just so I don't even know what I'm saying. So it looks like the skull is made of stone and they've actually like pinioned the chain into it or they've sunk the chain into it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. And then just the whole concept of the secret way of opening it being like this is just, it's fun. Yeah, they are. So in comparison to the, the models that I remember as a kid, they've gotten way more complex and way more detailed with their piece building. Um, I remember the pirate sets being especially cool because they always had little hidden rooms or small secret things or I was a little boy so they had guns and swords and it was really the first logos that I saw that had those kinds of things but now as an adult I can I can really appreciate all of the engineering and all of the 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 build time and design time that goes into these things just the way they put them together and the the forethought that goes into the planning of some of the models um, the and again they they live true because in the back, they have a little secret door that you can open up and hide your treasure map in to protect it from the Imperials who are coming to storm Treasure Island. I also, I just, again, little details. I love the dock and how it's just, instead of just being, you know, a nice, neat little dock, it seems like it's just, like, kind of a little rickety and everything by the way they uh, use the triangular ish Legos on it. There's definitely little uh, scary parts you might step in your foot into and trip if you're trying to run across that. Yeah, and the, the way they've gotten a lot more three-dimensional with their models, they're using a lot more angular pieces to mimic rocks uh, instead of giving you a, a vacuum-formed piece mm -hmm. of giant plastic that meant to, that was meant to be the base of everything. Uh, now they'll just give you flat pieces and they'll they'll really build up a lot of texture and they'll build up a lot of detail with small single block 
angular pieces or double block angular pieces to make things look more rocky or stony or craggy. It bothers me ever so slightly that the part that the banana is attached to is black and not brown like the rest of the tree because I feel like it should have been possibly more... Well, what does an actual banana tree look like? I don't know. Oh, the bananas grow in bunches. And this they is grow just in bunches a, this and is this is just a single, single one. So it's kind of weird anyway, I guess. But it, on that sense, it's not realistic. But it's a Lego set, so it's not supposed to be. But for some reason, that little detail bothered me because I, I felt like it... Because they've gotten everything else so right. and Yeah, but it also could just be like a cobbled together tree that's actually just hiding the secret um, over here. So they, you know, if, if you look at it that way, then maybe it's kind of... Just, well, we have this thing, let's just make it look like it's a banana tree and stick a banana on it. So, you know, on maybe on in that way, it kind of works. Yeah. The minifigures themselves also are, are really interesting. I've got I've got some of the old minifigures that we can we can kind of compare them to. And the the amount of detail and the amount of clarity they put into the minifigures really you can you can see the difference um they're double-sided so the original minifigures would have solid color legs solid color belt piece the shirt would be uh front only and the back would be just flesh color um generic smiley face they have the theory that the lego models are getting angrier as time goes by because you've got more frowny faces but um i think they're it, just it giving them more a little more bit more expression character. yeah a little bit more expression and let's be honest, pirates are going to be scowly and growly. Not and Lego pirates, they can be happy. They and can then, be, but you need to have that option. They're, you know, they're protecting, they're trying to protect their uh, yeah. island here. And then for the Imperial, the, the same holds true. Um, originally, very simple legs, very simple belt. The shoulder pads don't look like they've changed very much, but they've actually put some printing on the hats, and the bodies, front and back, are printed in the new models. Yeah, whereas, it's a little hard to see because the backpack is yeah, covering it. Whereas but... just the front was printed in the old. Um, overall, I, I really like the build quality. I really like the, uh, the design that went into the model. I feel like there's a lot of three-dimensional space, and I, I feel like they used a lot of... Um, supporting detail in, in small parts to, to really make the model become more alive or, or look a lot more natural than models used to. I do wish they would do something to try to figure out a way of keeping the oars in. Yeah. Just because it's... But you can have someone sit in, or, sit in row. <laughs> I know. That's and you, you've got to get more Imperials. This, this guy is outnumbered right now. He is. He's quite. Although, I mean, I guess that guy, but he's well, retired, so... Well, yeah, this guy's retired. He's he's off sailing away. The boat hasn't really changed too much. I think the boat model is still the same. Um, I think... Yeah, the boat really hasn't changed It's just a different color, much. but it's it's it really color. hasn't changed yet at all. The alligator, we saw really the biggest departure. Um, the old alligator, solid color, kind of friendly looking. Again, um, in the 90s, Legos all were smiley faces. They all had uh, kind of very friendly demeanors. These And the alligator kind of reflects that. It's got a wiggly tail, but the wiggly tail just kind of pins in. It doesn't have too much motion, and it has a jaw that hinges. Um, the new alligator is got a lot more detail. It's a lot more three-dimensional. Um, the jaw opens a lot. The the scowl, the teeth are a lot more defined, and the tail actually pivots a lot more because what they've done is they've actually used a small Lego peg to act as a pivot point instead of the tail pivoting on itself. So, do you have any closing thoughts on this model? Um, not too much. I, it's, unlike you, I did not do play with a ton of Legos. I had, as a child, I had just my brother's set of random miscellaneous pieces from, you know, whatever he didn't lose, I guess, when he had his, and that was about it. And it was also much earl it was much earlier <laughs> dating myself. It was much earlier pieces than when they had like the really cool sets and everything like that. Um I was more playing outside playing Star Wars and pretending, you know, that leaf piles or grass piles was job of the hut and stuff like that when I was little. But I did play with my brother's Legos a lot and I made a lot of guns and um, pretty much a lot of guns. I made guns. 
but I don't really have like the same nostalgia building this that um, I guess you would have out of it. Yeah, I, I really like that they brought back the pirate um, series. I was really excited when I heard they were doing it and a little concerned because I have a lot of good memories of it and I think that the models they've brought out thus far really live up to my memories of them and looking back at what the actual models were these really supersede outpace what we had as kids but you know you've just got that imagination as a child so you you could fill in the gaps and I think that Lego just has become a lot more mature in their their building well design. They, I think Lego realizes they're catering to the kids as well as the adults yeah and um, that and even just generations that build together and enjoy things together. You have parents building with the children. And um, they have made sure that there will be great enjoyment for maybe different reasons for for everybody. The kids obviously have fun building. And I'm sure they love the little details and stuff. And being able to use that along with their imaginations to play. Um, and I think adults just really appreciate all the little details that go into it um, because they probably have a better understanding of the type of work that goes into doing that and the kind of thought that goes into doing that. Well said. So I think that's it for this build. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. It brought back a lot of good memories. This is Spork Sam. This is Cat Bunny. Have, have a, a great, great day. day. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and you can also find me on Instant Replay Live's YouTube channel in the GIRL's videos. Links to all of these can be found below. Thanks for watching.